Thank you for tuning in today. Coming up a little bit later on, we'll have Scott Braddock, editor of QuorumReport.com. Uh, on the phones with us uh, right now, great friend of the show, uh, Dr. Ronnie Jackson, of course, uh, candidate, uh, Republican candidate up in uh, Texas 13, uh, just made a... Uh, a trip with the president down to Midland uh, last week with uh, some other uh, some other Republican uh, lawmakers and soon to be lawmakers and uh, Dr. Jackson always a a pleasure to visit with you. How you doing today? I'm doing well, Chad. Thank you, and I appreciate you having me on again. Thank a- you. Absolutely, and congratulations uh, to you for your uh, win in the runoff race. And uh, uh, you've got uh, you do have a general election uh, uh, opponent, and uh, eventually we'll get to. Uh, the politics there, but uh, let's talk about your trip last week. Uh, you're on Air Force One uh, with the president, uh, and of course, uh, Congressman Jody Arrington uh, of the 19th Congressional District and some others. Uh, how'd everything go on that flight? Yeah, that was a great flight. That was actually a great trip. You know, I happened to be in D.C. because I was up there meeting with some of the Republican leadership with McCarthy and Scalise and Liz Cheney and some of them. And some of the Texas delegation, I was up there actually talking about what committees I wanted to be on, you know, uh, not being too presumptuous, but, you know, when, if I win this election in November. So I was kind of talking to the party about that. And, uh, you know, the White House heard I was in town. Uh, they called me and they said, hey, President, would love for you to join him on the trip to Midland, Odessa on Wednesday. So I hopped on the plane. We flew down there. It was a great, great event. And uh, like you said, uh, Jody Arrington was on the plane and uh, Mike Conaway, uh, representative from, the 11th, from that district there as well. And Ted Cruz was with us, and uh, we had uh, Ronald McDaniel. So we, it was a good trip. What, what did you take away as far as, you know, the, the president's energy push and, and everything else? What did you take away uh, from, uh, from from all of that? Well, you know, he's fired up. I mean, you know, and there's all this talk right now about, you know, Texas, you know, being blue and being in play. That's a bunch of garbage. I mean, we're going to get out there and we're going to take this serious. We're going to fight hard. But the reality is, is, he made a perfect point up there. He said, you know, if uh, if president, if vice president, former vice president Biden becomes president, what Texas has to look forward to is uh, Beto O'Rourke knocking on your doors, wanting to take your weapons, and, uh, you know, AOC being the energy czar and completely destroying oil and gas, not just for the state of Texas, but for this entire country. And, uh, you know, that, that, that administration would devastate the state of Texas, and he just made that point up there. And, and people up there are scared. Uh, you know, of, uh, of that happening. So, uh, people are, people in Texas are going to rise up and they're going to support the president. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, w- was there any talk at all about, uh, you know, how the, you know, how the coronavirus pandemic is going? And, you know, what, what are folks uh, in the 13th congressional district, what are they thinking about all of this? And it just, it seems like so many people are just, they're fed up <laughs> with everything going yeah. on with this. Yeah, they are. And, and people here are sick of it, you know, and, and, it's it's out there. I mean, it's still out there, but it's been with us all this time. It's it's being highlighted right now because we're aggressively testing people, and the number of positive tests are going up. But simultaneously, the number of hospitalizations and deaths are gradually declining. So we're on the right track right now. You know, President talked about uh, some of the stuff that's out there on the horizon right now with some therapeutics that might be coming out. We might have a vaccine coming out sooner than later. So you know. We, we've got to, we, we're doing pretty good on this. It's, it's better, and better than the Democrats would have you believe, that's for sure. 